Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers are advised that the following program contains images and voices of people who've died. Around the world, there are different ways that people celebrate the life of someone who has passed away. In New Orleans in the US, funerals can involve long parades with jazz bands. In Thailand, when a king dies, the entire country dresses in black and mourns for a full year. And back home, Indigenous Australians have their own sacred ceremonies called sorry business. Sorry business is a term that describes how Aboriginal people and communities all over Australia deal with the death of a person in their community. Now it can include private and public expressions of grief, like a funeral. Or it can just mean everyone coming together to mourn the loss of someone they loved. And it's during sorry business that families and communities should be left alone to deal with that loss. Respect and privacy are also a big part of sorry business. There are also a number of rules that many Indigenous people follow when someone has died. They can include not using the name of the person who's passed away, not showing any images or video of their face, and not broadcasting their voice either. These laws have been around for thousands of years and have been adapted as technology has changed. And they're taken very seriously by the media, which is why you might have seen things like this before. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers are warned that the following program does contain images and voices of people who have passed away. You might have also noticed that in all the news reports about Dr Yunipingu's life and achievements, his face or full name was never used. Some Indigenous people believe that by following these rules, we won't disrupt the spirit of the departed. But for most, it's about respecting the person's family and community and allowing them time to grieve. But it's worth remembering that there are hundreds of Indigenous language groups, so these rules can be different in different areas. And often it's up to the family to ultimately decide whether or not names and images can be used. For example, last week Dr G Unipingu's family decided it was OK to continue playing his music after he'd passed away, but images of him weren't allowed, unless they were blurred. By working together and respecting the wishes of others, the aim is to be respectful, while still publicly honouring the life of a great musician. <laughs>